Number three, how can we be obedient to God? Well, God bless you. God keep you. I'm Pastor Mervyn January of Save to Serve Ministries located here in Portland, Oregon, welcoming you to our weekly Bible study night. That's right. Every Wednesday we have Bible study. I want to also remind some of those who've never seen this before that we have censored television broadcasts as well on Kingdom Purpose TV app. That's right. You can have a Roku TV, Amazon Fire Stick TV, an iPhone or an Android phone. And you can watch us on our television broadcast each and every week. That's right. One o'clock every Sunday and 3.30 p.m. every Wednesday. That's Pacific Standard Time. And for those who don't have, you know, all those fancy televisions, as long as you have the Internet, you can go to our website, SaveTheServing.org, and select the television broadcast of your choice. Click and you'll be in like Flynn. <laughs> And of course, we are going to continue to have live streams each and every week by the grace of God. That's right. 7 p.m. every Wednesday night. So tonight is Bible study night. And then again, we'll see you on Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Sunday morning. Tune in tonight as we discuss obedience to God. That's right. This is part number 15 of a Bible study entitled Blueprint to a Blessed Life. That's right, a series where we are breaking it down piece by piece, bit by bit on how to move along the spiritual journey that we call the path of God. Tonight, we want to discuss obedience because obeying God is not something we have to do. It's something we get to do. And simply put, obedience is the love language of our God. There are going to be three questions that we're going to discuss tonight. Question number one is, what is the importance of obedience to God? Question number two is, what is the meaning of obedience to God? And then we're going to finalize it all out with this. Number three, how can we be obedient to God? Join us tonight. And we pray that the Lord will remove the veil from the eyes of those who don't know and increase in favor and strength and understanding those who are already familiar with the importance of being obedient to God. And may the Lord increase your faith tremendously. And until we see you again, may the Lord bless you real good.